You're right guys, how you're doing? And welcome back to another FIFA 16 player review. And today we're going to be re reviewing the 4th in form Godin, I believe it is. Yeah, the 4th in form Godin. And he's got some pretty decent stats on his card. 74 pace, 70 dribbling, 58 shooting. Defenders aren't going to have good shooting, so ignore that stat. 94 defending, which is insane for a defender. It is his 4th in form, so obviously it's going to be high. 90 physical, again, really high. And 73 passing, which is also very good. So he's... Six foot one, he's got medium high work rates, his preferred foot is right, he does however have a three star weak foot, he has got two star skill moves but again that is standard for a defender and he's going for around 80 to 90k on both the Xbox and the PlayStation market currently. So for me, I found Godin to be an extremely good player, I'm going to have to give him an 8 out of 10. So there is only one bad thing about him but I'll get to that at the end of my review bit, so first of all the good things. He's very pacey. This is like his fourth in form, so obviously his stats are going to be incredible. And he has got a 74 pace, coupled with the medium high work rates. He is going to be back a lot, and uh, he is also going to be able to keep up with the faster players, because for some reason in this game, if you have 74 pace, you could probably keep up with Aubameyang. But that's how it works. Um, he's got brilliant tackling. His slide tackle and stand tackle are amazing. He hardly mistimes them, hardly gives away fouls uh, with his stand tackle and slide tackle. He does make some very good ditch, uh, last ditch tackles. You'll see that in some of the clips, what he does. And then after he tackles, he usually manages to keep onto the ball and pass it off. And he feels very confident on the ball. Now, he has got 74 pace, 73 passing and 70 dribbling. So you can sort of go on... I guess mini runs of him and by that I mean you can run out of your box and probably get it to the mid midfield uh, or the halfway line bit but yeah he's very confident on the ball he's also uh, good at tracking back although he's got medium high work rate so he should really be there if he does manage to get out of position because of his pace he does manage to track back a lot however the one bad thing and this is quite a, an important thing but I didn't feel like it affected it so much that he could get lower than 8 out of 10 is his heading so his heading is inconsistent some games in my box he'll have brilliant games where he just wins everything there obviously he wins most over top three balls if he's against someone um but other times he won't really win too many headers he's really weird his heading isn't that great he's also got power header trait and from corners the attacking threat he's just not there which is kind of suckish but anyway i'm gonna have to give diego godin an 8 out of 10 so I am going to have to give Diego Godin slightly lower at a 7 out of 10. This is mainly because, for me, I felt as though there were a lot better players in the position and so on and so forth. But first of all, the positive to me, he, as Matt said, he's very fast, he's very good on the ball. His passing is also very good. 73 passing, that does show in game. He's very good at passing. I think his long passing is 79, which does show in game. So, yeah, you can't really ask for much more from a defender. It's very good to have a defender who can play out from the back. Medium high work rates, which again, always does come in handy. And six foot one, as Matt said, his heading, for me, it was terrible. It wasn't inconsistent, it was just terrible. He couldn't win anything in the air. He just lost out to, you know, like the likes of Tevez, Aguero. I mean, I know they're both strong players, but they're small players. I mean, come on, I know he's only six foot one as well, but still he should be winning them because he is a centre back. And if somebody was to ask me, you know, would you go out and buy Godin? I would have to say yes, because he is only like 80k, which is mad cheap for an 89 rated player. However, for an 89 rated player, he doesn't play like an 89 rated player, if that makes any sense. He plays a bit more like a 86, 85 rated player, which was, for me, the biggest disappointment. So as always, if you did like this video, make sure you hit the like button and let us know that you enjoyed our content. If you want to see more videos from us, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And as always, we will catch you in our next video.